What's up you guys, it's Keela and I am back with another video. Today I'm gonna be finally painting the wood that if you've watched my other videos, I've been ironing on this wood. So I'm finally gonna paint this wood. I've had, I found the idea I found the idea on Pinterest. So I'm going to paint the wood white and I'm a glitter freak these days. So I'm gonna choose probably the blue, of course, cause that's my favorite color. So I think I'm gonna do a blue. But all these colors just makes you wanna go crazy. So the wood's gonna be white. The words are gonna be blue. And then I'm gonna go over the blue with the blue glitter. So I have the quote or the words that I'm gonna say on here. I'm gonna weed it out. First, I'm gonna go ahead and paint my canvas my wood plank i got this from michael no i actually got this from walmart which isn't really much of a surprise besides the price difference i'm going to be using this small paintbrush because i can't find any of my big paint brushes so i'm going to paint this white I'm thinking that the more I'm going to keep it more white towards the middle and kind of fade it out towards the edge. And then when I finish getting that done, I'll see you guys then. Okay, so I have my little stain down on the wood. I've just been pressing it down so it doesn't mess up too much. And hopefully we get a good outcome. I'm gonna kinda like dab it on there. Let's see if that helps me not to get it up under the vinyl. Hopefully not. piece of it came up. This may be a little bit harder than what I thought. A little piece of the H came up.
like I said, I already plan to have some type of cleanup after this. And I did, of course, use Cricut to cut this, the lettering out on vinyl. And it's not sticking well to the wood, which I kind of figured that that's what's gonna happen. Oh, y'all, look at it. Yes. Ooh. Yes, it looks really good. So I'm going to go in and get the little pieces that did stick around. I'm trying to think like if I want to put like some arrows, stars or anything on here. Okay, okay. I do have some bleeding, but other than that, it looks good. I'm gonna go in and clean up some spaces. I'm gonna let this dry and then go in and clean up some extra spaces on there. And um, I think I am gonna put some stars on here. Yes, I'll put about five stars on there. Okay, you guys, I have some stars printed up. And I think I've decided that I am going to leave not exactly sure which ones but I'm definitely going to leave a few of them just the navy color this is just makes sense in my head to do it that way not to have everything glittery 
Even though it won't look bad with everything being glittery, but. the hard part about doing something for yourself because once you think you like something it's always something else that you want to do so now instead of stars I think I'm gonna do circles so I'm gonna use just different bottles and stuff like that around To create the circles that I want. Hopefully I'm happy with this because it's gonna be kind of hard to just erase <laughs> this off of there. Let's do the circle down here. And then the circle up here. Not too many circles. I think I'll be good with just a few. And then I'm gonna take a smaller circle and do some in between. Some offsets. That looks good. I'm gonna put a circle up here. coming from here yeah I like that way better and that's all I want to do so I'm thinking that my small circles are going to be my glitter circles so I'm gonna do those first Still with the navy blue base. And it's hard to paint on wood because of the grain. So your paint is gonna be going against the grain. So as I'm trying to like paint the circle, it's just like coming out straight because of the grains. Well, like I said, everything that I've used, you can get it from Walmart. You can get it from Target, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, any little crafting store or main store that you have, wherever you are, wherever you're from. So I'm gonna head and put a little glitter on that because that layer is pretty small so this glitter is really pretty Getting closer to me and what i've been using is elmer's spray glue to seal it to like seal the glitter and that's what i use for my glitter backdrop and it's been doing a pretty good job stuff really haven't been the glitter haven't been really falling off like that not as much so that's what i'm gonna use to seal the glitter on here and if you have a better way of sealing glitter to make sure that it doesn't get everywhere and fall off um leave it down in the comments because 
I'm pretty sure there's a better way. There's got to be a better way. I've been getting lazy using the lazy way, honestly. Okay, so glitter's down. I'm just going to take a piece of loose paper or whatever and press it down. Okay, we have our few glitter circles and now I'm just gonna paint the regular circles. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is take a small paintbrush and just clean up some areas around the lettering. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna show you guys the final product.
Okay, you guys. This is it. We are, I still have some wet spots where I went in and fixed some bleeding. Other than that, we are done. This is our final product. And yeah, I hope you guys like the video. Like, subscribe, comment, leave suggestions on what you want to see next. And I'm going to see you guys hopefully in the next video. Peace.